What is up YouTube? This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. If you guys are not a subscriber already, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and give me a big thumbs up on this video. Today I'm out here in San Antonio, Texas. You guys know I'm a Texas guy and just have been out here running a solid business for many, many years, so the last 10 years. Um, but anyways, we are in Dallas, Houston, Austin, San Antonio, and everywhere in between, all the way out to Tyler and Waxahachie, all, all, everywhere. So we would love to earn your business in Texas, as well as we have expanded into many other markets and ship nationwide. So just to list a few, we're in Colorado, California, Washington, Atlanta, Louisiana. Um, we are down in Florida, Fort Lauderdale, Miami. We we got Washington, um, D.C., we have uh, Maryland, Virginia, as well as we are up in New York and New Jersey, um, Connecticut, um, just a, a bunch of different territories. So reach out and show your support, guys. Um, we have been on this journey to put a home theater into every single house in America, and we can't do it without you guys. But even if you're DIYing it, we can ship to you anywhere in the country, so give us a shot. Anyways, today's video is going to be specifically about the Panamorph DCR lens, and I'm going to show you guys a demo later, so you got to stay tuned. Um, I'm going to kind of give you guys a walkthrough on the, the reasoning behind why you may need a Panamorph DCR lens and actually show it in action. So, I'm gonna get into it right after the intro. Let's go! All right, welcome back guys. So, Panamorph DCR lens. What is it? <laughs> right? <laughs> That's what everybody's wondering. Well. Essentially, you have a projector, right? Um, for example, in this room right here, we have a RS2000. The RS2000 is an amazing projector without the Panamorph DCR lens. It's full native 4K, has the DILA chip in there for inky, inky black levels. It even does scene by scene and frame by frame auto tone mapping. It, it's a, an amazing unit, without a doubt. One of the best out right now. But you wanna make it better, right? A lot of guys are like on the fence, should I go with an RS3000 or should I do an RS2000 and a Panamorph DCR lens? So this video is more so for the guys that have been researching this for a while, but I'm also gonna give just a quick breakdown on what it does in a nutshell before we get into that. So in a nutshell, you're getting two things with the Panamorph DCR lens. You're setting yourself up for widescreen aspect ratio, like this. This is a 240, 133 inch screen. Size of the screen really doesn't matter, but it's a great tool for maximizing your potential when doing widescreen format. So that, that's one of the first selling points to it. The other thing is increased pixel density, which is huge, guys. Whenever you're doing a um, widescreen aspect ratio, you're typically losing pixels top and bottom. Like in a standard 16 by nine aspect ratio, you would have video up top and video down at the bottom. Whereas with 240, your image is just right there in the middle. But the projector has all of those pixels available top and bottom. So what the DCR lens does up here. Let me give you guys an up close shot of it. I guess I can get off my butt. <laughs> so what the DCR lens does is it squishes it essentially. It's taking all of that and filtering it down to where now it's focusing all those pixels into this area, this 240 aspect ratio. So you're getting better picture, better image quality overall. So that's number two, okay? And then along with that, basically the same reasoning it, that you're getting the increased, uh, 
I'm sorry. <laughs> the reason you're getting the increased pixel density is brightness. Uh, it's the same thing. You're, you're squishing it all down. So you're getting a brighter image, which is really important with home theater projectors because they're not super bright. Typically you're like around, let's just say 1500 to 2000 lumen output on average for most of these uh, home theater projectors. Some of them go, you know, up into the 2000s, but typically when you get to around 3000, you're dealing with a laser projector. Um, but with the increased need and desire for ALR screens, like in this room here, we're running a Screen Innovations uh, 240 Slate, which is an ALR material 1.2 gain. And they also make a black diamond ALR with a 1.4 gain, which we can kind of get into gains a little bit if you'd like, but essentially the bright, the higher the gain, the brighter your image is going to be. So like with ALR, you're wanting it to be, especially with a low lumen output projector, you're wanting it to be bright. So we went with a higher gain. And then we also added the Panamorph DCR lens to it, which is going to deliver a TV-like experience, even with some lights on in the room. And I'm gonna fire this bad boy up in a minute and show it to you. So that's kind of the walkthrough on the DCR Panamorph lens. And we offer everything that Panamorph has to offer. They have been the industry leader. I mean, I remember when I got into this, this was 11 years ago, I saw P Panamorph lenses on some of these really old school projectors. So it's it's been around a long time. Uh, Sean Kelly, he's been uh, optimizing these over the years and making them better and better. All right, guys, well, that's a quick overview on the Panamorph DCR lens, and we have it set up here with that RS2000, so I figured this would be a great opportunity to show it off to you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and fire the system up and give you guys a demo on how it works and the image quality that you can expect. Let's go. Let's do it. You can see I just paused it here on the intro because I wanted to point out how much detail you can see right off the bat with an RS2000 and the Panamorph DCR lens. It's unbelievable. Look at this, guys. I mean, it looks like a television. You can see every single little wrinkle on his face. You can see the detail in the blood work, all of the, the depth to it, um, every single blade of hair on his face, the detail in the cigarette. I mean, it's pretty impressive stuff, what you get out of this lens and projector combo. I'll keep playing it and you guys can see examples of the quality in more scenes.
cheese and rice. That demo is pretty intense. Um, but you guys get the idea. Uh, that, that's one of my uh, favorite movies that have come out here recently. It's pretty action-packed. But it really demonstrates, and every single movie is going to, the image quality that you can expect out of this system. The RS2000 Panamorph DCR lens. Other things that I didn't mention that I did in the system overview um, on this room is they have a Lumigen Radiance Pro as well, which also makes it one step better. If you guys are interested in that, make sure to ask our sales consultants about that when you call in, but it's gonna auto adjust your aspect ratio to any format to fill the whole screen in 240 all the time. It's pretty cool. All right, well, that is a wrap on my demo and walkthrough of a Panamorph DCR lens. I hope that you found this information informative and helping you make a buying decision. If you guys would like to purchase anything home theater related or audio video related for your home, make sure to reach out and utilize our free consultation service. My guys would be happy to FaceTime video conference with you guys and walk through your entire space, figure out the exact system that's gonna fix your needs and budget. So reach out today, guys. We'd love the opportunity to earn your business. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button down below for more. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.